Coloured, neutral, patterned, modern, vintage, wallpaper never seems to get out of fashion. But have you ever wondered how it's made? This is how it's done at Farrow and Ball's factory in Dorset, England. Farrow and Ball is a British manufacturer of paints and wallpapers that was founded in 1946. The company started making handcrafted high-end wallpaper 25 years ago by using its own richly pigmented paint and artisanal printing methods. Its wallpapers are 100% recyclable, made with responsibly sourced paper as well as eco-friendly water-based paint. The making process begins with high-quality sustainable rolls of paper. This paper is brushed with a layer of colour that will be the base tint of the wallpaper. Most of the colours are drawn from Farrow and Ball's own paint collections, while others are specially developed as wallpaper background colours. Once coated with a base layer, the paper is left to dry. The rolls are then stored by colour and prepared for the printing process. Designs and patterns are developed in-house by Farrow and Ball and can be applied to the coloured paper through three different printing methods. The first one is flatbed printing, which is used for larger wallpaper designs and longer pattern repeats. This method is inspired by 18th century techniques. Firstly, the designs are carved onto printing blocks. Then the edge surface of the block is covered in paint with a roller. This block is pressed onto the paper to print the pattern and is then pulled away, and the paper is left to dry. Then there's the roller block printing method. This method is used for more intricate designs with fine details. The chosen pattern is hand carved onto a cylinder which is then coated with paint using a foam roller. Once the cylinder is covered in paint, it is rolled onto the paper to print the pattern. The third and last method is trough printing. This method is used to create striped and dragged wallpaper. To begin, the paint is poured into the trough through foam pads, which are hand cut by the craftsman, and then ends up onto the paper. The paper is oven dried and the process is repeated in a second hue to create a tactile stripe pattern. Once dried, the wallpaper is cut into smaller rolls, wrapped in brown paper and shipped to customers in boxes. Farrow and Ball has long been a pioneer in decorations and interior design. The company was established straight after the Second World War by John Farrow, a chemist, and Richard Ball, an engineer who had survived capture as a prisoner of war. The pair soon went on to supply paint for the Ford Motor Company, Raleigh Bicycles, the Admiralty and the War Office. Then, in the 60s, they sold the company to English actor Norman Chappell. Farrow and Ball is now owned by Tom Helm and Martin Efferson, and it has showrooms in London, Toronto, Paris and New York. If you've ever refurbished your house, you've most likely found yourself peeling away layers of old wallpaper. Which one would you go for next? <laughs>